The future for lecturers at the University of Montana is once again uncertain after a draft of a letter indicates no contracts will be renewed following the spring semester. MTN's Eric Clemens spoke with a member of the UM's faculty union and now joins us live on what this could mean for the university. Eric? Jill, Dennis, this letter has not yet been sent out, but if the current draft is any indication, UM administrators are taking drastic measures to make ends meet. University leaders have been working for some time to slim the budget. But faculty union leaders worry this is not an appropriate action and could end up hurting the school more than it helps. The current draft of a letter from University of Montana administrators indicates that the school is preparing to eliminate wholesale the position of lecturer from the school as it currently exists. Instead, the school would hire adjuncts to fill the role. The decision could impact as many as 35 lecturers. This would allow the school more flexibility in hiring as year-long contracts would no longer exist and teachers would be hired on a class-by-class -class basis. UM Faculty Union spokesperson Lee Banville worries this could drive away quality professors. I think what it means is if you're a good one, you're going to leave. And really, when you look at who, who these people are, you know, the, the people like Gary Kerr, or Robert Stubblefield, or Josh Slotnick from the Peas Farm, these are like institutions within the institution, and they are like part of, the, part of the reason a lot of kids come here. So the experience of undergrads is going to be really damaged by this. Banville worries this decision could have long-lasting and far-reaching consequences for the school. These are decisions that will change the way that the university operates. It will change the kinds of people who are teaching here and, you know, the kinds of people we attract in the future. A key issue for the faculty union is the speed with which this decision could be made and the apparent lack of transparency that went into the process. For it to be made essentially quite suddenly and without any input from, I mean, they didn't talk to the union at all about this. You know, it just seems like we're back to where we were, you know, five months ago where I thought maybe we were going to actually have more of a working together thing, but that appears not to be the case. Now, again, this letter has not yet been sent out, and as a draft, it could change before it is sent out. Banville ex expects something substantial to happen by early next week at the latest. UM officials have not yet released a statement regarding this letter. Dennis? Thanks, Eric. We'll continue to follow this story. If the contracts are not renewed, those uh, positions, about 35 of them, could be eliminated by next May.